Well, good day everyone. We're heading south once more. I've only got back from British Columbia about uh, 10 days ago and it's been hectic. But uh, the landowners gave us a call from down south and said that the, uh, the dogs are starting to hit the calves again. It's been pretty dry until this last week. Dry as a dead dingo's donger. And uh, yeah, they said get down here and see what you can do. So we dropped everything and we'll head down and do a program. Uh, this is the first trip that I've done since I lost skunk. Uh, yeah, it's it's a sad old time. But uh, anyway, we've got young Mossy, skunk's daughter, in the back here with me now. She'll um, get a chance to shine. Lovely little, um, lovely little border collie. And uh, we've got old Chancy, he's a bit fat, but he'll, he'll do the job. And Brandon, well, this is his chance to shine. This is his chance to, to step up to the plate. So before I start on this series, what I'll do is I'll include a little bit of footage I took last week when we were on a uh, red deer hunt. And uh, we heard a couple of howls coming out of the hills. So watch this. And if you stay tuned at the end of it, I'll give you more details of our Patreon site. And uh, those people that want to support us will be able to get behind and maybe buy Brandon a bone or buy me a coffee. And every dollar we get in, we'll put back towards making this the best possible show we can. We'd love to one day see it as one of your favourite shows online. This is a community thing. You get behind us and we'll do everything we can for you. We certainly appreciate all the, uh, all the support we've got recently. Anyhow, let's have a look at this footage. Stick around at the end of it for more details on what we're going to do with our channel in the years ahead. We've got a dingo howling at us from this uh, ridge over here, so I'll try and howl it in.
dogs. Get the other one. Did you see that? Yeah. Good. I saw two. This one right here. Okay. That was fast and furious. Yeah, very fast and furious. Look at that. He comes running in full bolt. Full bolt. You were about half a second behind mm -hmm. me there. I just had to take that shot. And that one there, I'm glad you were watching because otherwise yeah. you wouldn't believe it, would you? Exactly. Hey? <laughs> Here's the second dog. So there's a hundred meter running shot. Big black and tan fella. Good stuff. Saddleback dog. Good boy, Bungie. Good boy, Bunge. Good boy, Bunge. Good boy, Bunge. Skitty Bunge. Skitty Bunge. Skitty Bunge. Skitty Bunge. Good boy. Good boy, Bunge. Good boy. Bunge. Bungee pup, bungee pup, bungee pup. <laughs> Good boy. Bungee pup, come here. Bungee pup. Good man. Bungee, come over here, mate. Come over here, hey. Okay, this is little Bungee's first outing. I only got introduced to him a couple of days ago when we came back from British Columbia and with the sad news that, that um, we'd lost skunk just a few days before. These little fellows were born just before we left. And uh, we hadn't planned it, but it was the line that we wanted to, to breed. This is the same line as, as Brandon. And uh, yeah, when we got home, a few pups left and uh, sold a couple. And this guy here just hadn't been selected. But he's got the white tip ears like old Chocky and like Skunk. A little bit, skunk head just a little bit. It's got much the same head pattern as, as skunky, but he's got a longer coat like, uh, like Chocky. And he just took a shine to me straight away. So here's our first day out. We've got five deer and two dingoes on the ground in a matter of what, half hour, Mark? It's not just, even seven o'clock yet. <laughs> it's not even seven o'clock. And this guy has been there for every shot. He hasn't run away, he hasn't flinched. And he's been here and he sniffed the dingoes and he sniffed the deer. And I think he's got he's got a bit of talent. So let's let's see what you can do, mate. And the only way you've got a chance is because old skunk's gone. Funny how that thing things happen, eh? Yeah. Okay. Well John Williamson actually has got in one of his songs there where he says, you know, it makes way for younger trees. I guess that's what life's about. G'day everyone, another beautiful morning out here on the trap line. I'd just like to take a moment to thank everybody for their support. Uh, all the uh, regular guys or guys and gals I see on there, there's there's Lopen and Minnesota uh, Rancher. We've got uh, the guys from Montana, Louie from down here, Gimpy, Cliff from, from down in uh, Brisbane, um, Donald, from over in the Philippines. We've got all the great guys and gals from Canada, all across the US. There's people from Ireland and UK, um, South Africa, uh, you name it. There's so many countries that are, that are now getting, uh, people from different countries are getting behind the show. We really, really appreciate your comments. And even old Johnny Mead, you give me a two-page lecture every, every uh, clip I put up of how I could do it better if I did it your way. Thanks, mate. Good on you. Um, it's all good. It's all good. We appreciate it. What we're about to embark on is the next stage of our show. We'll maintain the Trapping Tuesday clips. Uh, they will stay on free, free to air for everybody, uh, one clip a week. Uh, but all our other content, all the stuff from my mum and dad's history, granddad's, uh, all the great characters I've met in my life, 
um, all the, the hunting stories, the management stories. There'll be stuff from New Zealand. There'll be stuff from the Northern Territory chasing buffalo. There'll be there'll be all the red deer stuff, all the different chittle deer and wild pigs and bulls and um, uh, helicopter capture, deer farming. There'll be issue clips. There'll be songs. There'll be poetry. All the stuff we can put together, we're going to put onto a Patreon site. And if we can get enough people to throw in a couple of dollars a month, two dollars a month to support us, we'll have the funds to make this possible, to get it out there for you guys and gals. So if you uh, if you can, please get behind our show. Uh, we would really appreciate it because uh, it's going to take a little bit to get it up and running. So again, thank you very much for watching and your support. And we'll see you next time.